Good afternoon and welcome to another day of trash picking. It's kind of a rainy day. It's supposed to have thunderstorms. But I have on my glove. So let's see. Yeah, what do we got in here? You know, I would take those pieces of stainless out because like those little drip rails are stainless. But that's only a couple of bucks, and this grill looks like it's probably still viable. So I'll just leave the grill. We've got a shovel. Why'd they throw this shovel away? Is it broken? Oh, do you see any breaks there? No, that looks like a viable shovel. I got enough of these saws at home, but mine are all rusty, so I'll take the saw. And these flower pots. I don't know, these are kind of iffy because they're probably going to break by the time I get them home, but they're not broken now, so I guess I'll take those too. It is hot and it is wet and not necessarily in a good, comfortable way, like a nice shower or a bath or something. But we're finding stuff. It's like some cheap, uh, cheap nail gun. And the Prestone battery box. I gotta be honest, I'm really getting sick of taking these battery boxes apart, but they do have a battery inside. And this one's only a little bit drippy. Let's see, anything in here? Hugo's, nope. Anything in here? And we don't want that, so we can leave those. But we absolutely do want this giant. Heavy floor jack. Of course, we're gonna have to take this uh, bolt out to get the handle out to get it in the trunk. And I will do that off camera. This thing weighs, wow. What, well, weighs 6,000 pounds according to the label. Am I not a serious scrapper because I won't take this, what is it, a washing machine? I think I'm a pretty serious scrapper. So I'm gonna take this motor, that's serious. I mean, it's seriously heavy. And this mounting bracket is seriously cut into my fingers. It made a seriously loud noise going into the trunk. You know, I think I'm a serious scrapper. I've got my magnet and I've got a good feeling. Let's see. That's right. It's brass. It's pretty small, but it's brass. And then, I don't know. It's a train set, right? I might not necessarily take the whole box. I might just grab a couple of the trains, like this one that just fell on the ground. But, you know, the old timey village express and uh, a wet mattress and some other wet stuff. But yeah, this is a great pile. So, give me a few minutes to disassemble this, uh, this thing and we'll be on our way. I haven't started taking it apart yet, but look what I spied with my little eyes. <laughs> the other half which is buried under everything. Whoa. I guess the moral of the story is you gotta dig, right? I've pulled apart tons of these things and this is definitely one of the most annoying ones I've ever done. Plus it didn't help that it's about 100 degrees and the sun is beating down on me the whole time. But it's done, it's in there, and it's time to go to the next pile. I almost didn't think that I was gonna record any more clips today because it just seems really, really dead out here. But maybe our luck is changing. Look at this big chunk of scrap metal. This is called the Singer. 
3115 sewing machine. Oh, and it weighs a ton. 31 pounds, 15 ounces maybe. This is one of those machines for real heavy duty industrial use. Probably sewing leather and things like that, or just sewing in a factory. So we'll see if it's viable as a thing, but even if it isn't, it's definitely a couple bucks worth of scrap metal. I think I'm kind of blocking the street, but it's a quiet day, so let's see what we got. Wow. An entire piano, minus most of the piano. Oh my goodness. A whole bottle of engine oil. What kind of oils? What else are you so I was going through this pile and I picked up this bottle of motor oil. There's nothing else really great in this pile. A couple of wires and stuff. But uh Anyway, I picked up this bottle of oil and the homeowner came out and said, you want some more oil? So look at this, what a score this is. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quarts of oil, a gallon of antifreeze, and some flex seal. That's crazy, and, and she was glad because she didn't want to take this stuff down to like the toxic recycling center, so everybody wins. I think someone tore apart their deck. I wonder if they built a new deck. Remember that old song by Huey Lewis? I built a new deck. One that's made out of wood. Now normally I couldn't care less about someone's old deck. I mean, I suppose you could reuse this wood for something. But I care about this pile for one reason, one reason only. Which is the uh, umbrella stand that they used to have on the deck. And uh, to conclude this pile, there's more of their old deck. This is a crazy looking thing. What do you think this is? The Myers something. I don't know. Are these pipes brass? Oh, look at that. See how that's yellow? That's totally brass. And this is some brass on the other side too. All right, I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to go and get my pipe wrench and see if I can get this stuff off. And I will let you know how that went. Or maybe I'll show you if it's not too cumbersome. All right, I got the wrench on there. And I think I'm just gonna try and stomp on the wrench. Whoa, that worked great. have to flip the tank over, huh? I honestly thought that this, this thing was never gonna come off, but look at this. It's just like, like butter, buttery smooth. Even the fitting is brass. Let's try the other side. I don't wanna spill rusty water all over the street, but I will show you this as well as I can. That's coming off so easily. That is some um, serious brass and all courtesy of my crappy old pipe wrench that I got out of the garbage. I don't know why, but for some reason today I'm just really uncomfortable recording. It's like, what is this, half a propeller? I don't know. Like sometimes you just don't have a great feeling about things. I feel like someone's gonna get mad at me. But most likely no one even notices me. So what do you think? Should we just cut the cord or should we keep the whole thing? I'll keep the whole thing. Put it in here with my flower pots and my oil. Some rope. Pressure cooker, those are cool. 
I don't know, to the right person, that's probably like a $2 bill. And to the right person, the $2 bill is worth $3. I don't know what this thing is. What do you think this thing is? No. What is that? It's by Cabela's, so it's gotta be sporting goods of some sort. I don't know. Maybe I'll take that. Cord in here, attached to a doohickey of some sort. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should keep the doohickey too. It's an interesting looking doohickey. Every once in a while you find something like that. An interesting looking doohickey. And I would say one out of a hundred is a valuable, interesting looking doohickey. So I guess that's all for this pile. Anything in here? Tiles. Wow, these are nice. Little octagonal tiles. Parts here. Oh. I might have to blur some stuff out for you folks. Oh, and look at this. See, this is part of a, like a thing that fits into your hitch. You know, it's the bottom part of a bike rack, but this adapter and this bolt, that's like gold. Not because it's expensive, but because when you need one, you never find one. So next time I need one, I'll be digging around looking for that. And then we got aluminum pipes and I know a couple of guys who are really going to want that because they love aluminum, so I'll leave it for them. We got a little double whammy. Two piles in a shady area in the middle of nowhere. So let's see. I don't know. This stuff isn't on the street, but I assume it's their garbage. But what I will do is I won't cut the plugs off this just in case it's their extension cord they want to keep. I got into a little kerfuffle with a guy a couple weeks ago. He hadn't put his pile out in the street yet, so he was mad that I was looking through it. So I'm a little bit gun shy right now. But there's no doubt in my mind that this is garbage. So that's nice. Little blue spaghetti. And now over here, what do we got? Hmm. Yeah, my ceiling lights overheat if I use these floodlights, so I put in, what do you call it, LEDs? It's probably what they did. Oh, I love this. Old fashioned wood bowling pin. It's been a while since I had one of those. So let's put it in here. And maybe we'll re-gift this thing over here. And last but certainly least, this antique desk. This is one of the ones with stamped steel instead of cast iron, so honestly I can't even give these things away. I got one at my house right now. It's been there for two years. So even though it's got some kind of cool like graffiti and stuff on it, a lot of cool patina, and the inkwell, I'm gonna have to leave the desk here. Maybe I'll do a little more regifting before I go. Word of advice, if you pick up a gun out of the garbage, hide it somewhere in your car because if the cops see this plastic gun, they're gonna think it's a real gun. Let's see. A whole box full of wire, but it's coax. And half a hose, that's the first time I saw half a hose reel. There's the other half. Let's see, this is interesting. A sewing box that's filled with like nuts and bolts and screws and things. 
I do not want to spill this on the ground. I do not want to spill this on the ground. I do not want to spill this on the ground. What else do we have? Ooh. A tire iron. Only a little bit of moss in the end of it there. Wow. See? Things that you never saw before in your life and now you can't live without. A giant plastic shovel. Holy cow. Have you ever seen anything that is that cool before? Seriously, this is like going, oh boy, look at this. A bow stitch, a boss stitch nail gun. Let's see if it works. Kapow, kapow. No, it doesn't work. But we can take it for scrap. Couple of other shovels. I don't know, is that bent? Or is that meant to be like that? Is it bent or is it meant? I don't know. There's a spade. I think the shovel's bent. Nobody cares about the that spade there. Empty cases of former VCR tapes. Hmm. Boxes and nails. Usually these nail gun nails are like totally uh, rusty or whatever. These are alright. Yeah, those are fine. Alright, so we got nails and a nail gun that won't shoot nails anymore. Alright, there's a couple more boxes up there that I will grab. Anything else? It's like... We can shoot BBs, we can shoot nails. We can shovel snow. You know, why, why do you need to go to Walmart when you can uh, just shop on the side of the road? No offense to Walmart. I love Walmart. What do you say? Do we want some weird no-name plastic toys? That's so bizarre. It's got literal... Like, it's got a Goodyear logo on it. Let's see... The Garbage Gobbler? That's nuts. Who made that? And the nylon sand and gravel truck. The metro police truck. You know, if they defund the police, they'll have to drive this thing. A fire truck. The black phantom. That's by Radio Shack. Remember Radio Shack? Oh no, my concrete mixer is stuck on my back phantom. Did you hear all that? Because the microphone's on the front of the camera, so it's probably all like, and I'm here like, <laughs> but I said, oh no, my concrete mixer is stuck on the black phantom. Yeah, timing is everything. Oh no, this thing talks. Yeah, I could do that all night, so I won't. Trivial Pursuit. Those sell about as well as nothing ever. They don't sell. Old floppy disks. I always wanted to do this, so I'm going to do it. I hope that wasn't someone's valuable data. 
And then down here. Oh wow. <laughs> I've never, I've seen 10 zillion of these ShopRite trucks. Cause you know, ShopRite is a big supermarket chain here in Denver, Colorado. I've never seen one that's this messed up though. That's just crazy. What happened to the wheels and the other wheel? You sunk my battleship. All right, I guess that's enough tomfoolery here. Well, we did get some fun trucks and stuff, so that's cool. I just checked and I have 21 clips tonight, which should be just enough for like a 14, 15 minute video. I don't really like the really long videos. I like them a little bit shorter. So I think this is gonna be our last pile for tonight and what a good pile it is. This is a concrete mushroom, which I'm gonna stick in the car. I might have to, I don't know, reposition that later. I wanna put it in the bucket and then put this bucket in the pile. Then we have this beautiful glass jug. I'm gonna fill this jug with pennies. I'm gonna fill this jug with pennies and sell it for $5. Did I use that joke before? Maybe, but this one isn't broken. So yeah, that's a $5 jug. Where do I put it though? Yeah, I'll just let it drive home. Looks good there on the seat. That way we can get in the carpool lane. What else do we have? Art. And I don't know what's in there really. This is cool. Hello Kitty loves Boston College. Like that's a legitimate authorized copyrighted thing. Oh, it's got a chip in it. Yeah. Last thing I thought I'd find tonight was a Boston College Hello Kitty coffee mug. So you know what? Let's grab that for the thumbnail. That was a little too long thumbnail grabbing, but you know, thumbnails are really important. Jigsaw puzzle painting, and that's about it. So I wanna say thanks guys for coming along tonight and trash picking with me. And until next time, thanks for watching.